Hello and welcome back to another video from Jarba Campervans. Now today we're going to do a workshop tour. I'm going to take you on a walk around the workshop, show you all of the layouts that we're working on right now. We've got some exciting stuff. We've got a Tyree, we've got a couple of Sanas with sliders. We've got a Taranze that's just been started and there's a Cromarty in there too. So let's jump into the workshop and take a little look. So the first thing we'll have a look at is this Fortana Red Sana camper van and it's almost finished. So this Sana is maybe 90% of the way there and John and Rob are currently doing the final touches on all the gas work and the plumbing work. Rob's doing some electrics in the back there. Once the guys are finished this work, they'll go through the final conversion checklist and just make sure every single part of this camper van is as it should be. It's completely finished and everything is up to the quality that we would expect from Gerba. So this is the Gerba Taranze that I promised you. And the Taranze is a short wheelbase, kitchen in the rear, rear elevation layout. And it's not one that we've got loads of videos on the channel of. So excited to do a few videos of this one while we're building it. Now this layout is a short wheelbase version of our Sana layout, one that we have done a lot of videos on. And basically, Similar layer in the front, the seating arrangement, the two single beds, but in the back it's 400 millimeter shorter, so you need to lose either the cupboard or, well, the large wardrobe or the toilet. So for those that like the Santa layout but the short wheelbase van, this is the option for that. Now I did promise that I would show you guys the sliders and actually all four of the vans in this layout that we have in have sliders on them so it's a very lucky time we've not had vans in with sliders for a while and then all of a sudden we've got four sets of them so perfect time to show you them working what the sliders do is they basically allow the two single beds to pull in together to create one double bed and it's this mechanism here that you can see on the typical rib seats that we fit in the Sana and Taranze. It doesn't have this sliding mechanism that you see here. It's all open so you can flip open your seat and you have direct access into that storage space there. The sliders obviously stop you getting in through the top. You can still go in the smaller holes but it stops you putting bigger things in. So we basically fit a door in the front and you can access the storage space underneath that way. But these seats are incomplete, but I'll still give you a demonstration of how they work. And when this van's finished, we will do a full walk around tour. So make sure you keep tuned for that. They're really simple to use. If you imagine you folded the base, which isn't fitted on this one down, and you just basically have this slider here, which comes backwards and forwards, just like your typical car seat. And then you have another one on the side here, which just lets you go left to right and all you're basically going to do is pull them both over into the middle clip them in i'll see if i can get this one over as well so i won't bring them all the way together and these are just a little bit at different levels and basically what you would do is you would fold down your two seats you would have them all the way together i've left a wee gap here just for ease of use for the video but this would basically then become, with the piece at the back and the piece at the front, your large double bed. So really great little system and a nice addition for the rib seats. And again, you can push them all the way out the way. And it'll give you that walking space through the middle so you can get into the back of the camper van. Now we'll take you around the back and we'll have a little look at the space in the back of the Taranzi. So we're in the back of the Taranze now and you can see that it's a little bit shorter than the typical Sana. Now you might not know what the Sana looks like and we're going to go into one next just so we can give you a comparison. But basically the Sana is just 400 millimeters bigger and the Sana layout will have a fridge in the back here, it will have a wardrobe here and then it will have a toilet in the back. In the Taranze you basically need to choose between the wardrobe and the toilet which one you would like most and that's what will fit. So you imagine you'd have your fridge and then wardrobe or fridge and then toilet and just like the typical layout on this side you would have your cabinets with cooking and your cleaning on top this one has the pipe work i can see for hot water so it will have the Wabasto heat exchanger for hot water at the tap and it will likely be getting a hot water shower in the back too so really really nice but this van's about two and a half weeks into the build so ian's going to work on all the furniture now, do all the bespoke furniture and get all this stuff fitted, get the appliances in and then John and his guys will do all the plumbing work and all the electrical work and when it's finished we'll take another full tour of this camper van and I'll just show you the Taranze and what it looks like complete. So let's jump into the Sana next 
just for a bit of a comparison. So we're in a Sana now. The first van that John and Rob were working on was a Sana that was almost complete. Nathan's currently working on this Sana, which is about halfway complete in the joinery part. Nathan's currently working with a brand new wood finish that we've just taken order of here at Gerba and we'll be offering in our camper vans. It's a sanded oak finish. It's a light oak and it looks absolutely fantastic. So this is the second van that Nathan's done in this wood finish and it's becoming really, really popular and for good reason because it looks amazing. Now, you'll see in this one, we've got the toilet at the back like I was talking about. It's not fitted yet, but this is where it would go. We've also got wardrobe in here, the tall wardrobe, and we've got the fridge and the cabinets in the front here. So the Taran's A, if you imagine, you're choosing between the wardrobe or the toilet, one or the other. And eventually Nathan will get onto this side where he'll do all the cabinets down this side and you'll have your cooking and your cleaning and it'll be a very, very nice camper van. And of course, the roof pops up at the back on the Sana and Taranze layouts. So you'll have full head height so you can stand up, maneuver around, go to the toilet. You've got cooking with full head height so you can prepare comfortably and move through into the front of the camper van where you've got the seating area, two tables, and you can enjoy, you know, breakfast, dinner, just a bit of socializing in the front of the camper van. So it's looking really good, Nathan. The next van we'll take a little look at is this Tyree. And this Tyree is slightly unusual because it has three seats in the back. It's not really unusual, but the Tyree as standard comes with a 120 centimeter wide seat bed and it has two seat belts. This one has a 130 centimeter uh, rib seat bed and it comes with three seat belts. So if it's important to have five seats in your camper van, we can do it in a short wheelbase like this one or the long wheelbase like the Cromarty, and we can do this short wheelbase with three seats. Now, what that means is that you cut 10 centimeters off the depth of your cabinets. So these cabinets aren't as deep as the standard Tyree layout. Because your cabinets aren't as deep, it does mean that you sacrifice the opportunity to have some appliances, but you can still have a two burner gas hob, which is our most common you know, appliances that we have in the Tyree, and you can still have a sink hot water sink, cold water sink, all that's okay. The sink just becomes slightly shorter than the one that we would fit as standard. Now, this van also comes with the fridge and it's finished in driftwood. So we saw Nathan was working on the light oak van. Driftwood is a darker wood finish. And again, really, really popular. It goes really, really well with this gray Puntinella top and it's been really, really well received. And this is the reason why we've expanded out into the light oak, just because people really like these wood finishes and they've asked if we can supply some more. So we've got a more diverse range of wood finishes now and they look really, really good. So this camper van is also getting hot water and it's the hot water pipe work and all the electric work that's being done just now. So when that's all finished and tidied away, we'll then get the seat base on this one and it's nearly there. A couple of appliances need fitting, but I would say this is maybe 80% done. So we'll definitely do a tour of this one when it's finished too. So let's jump through into the schedule area next and see what the schedule guys are working on. Gareth and Vince work through here in the schedule area and what they do is all that foundational work in the camper vans to make sure there's a great solid base for the guys to do the cabinet work and all that electrical work too. Now you can see in this one that they've cut out the hole in the roof. They've fitted our roof strengthening frame and we've also got our gerba elevating roof fitted in this one. There's no canvas yet, but they'll get around to that soon. And you can also see all of this trimming. So they've done the full insulation job in behind all the panels and then trimmed it with this nice gray carpet finish. And it's looking really, really spot on. Now we, we carpet from top to bottom, front to back. We carpet the entire camper van not just the bits that you can see, and it just assures the quality that you would expect from Gerba camper vans. Now this one has our special floor being bonded in at the moment, and you can see it's been weighted down by these blocks just to keep the bond strong. Now our floor is a three part system, and it's basically this nice light birch plywood top and bottom, but the middle layer is a thick foam layer, which really, really helps with road noise, and it's great for insulation. And it's not much heavier than the typical plywood floor that you would fit in a camper van. It's almost like for like, so you don't need to worry about the extra weight, but the extra benefits in using this special floor that we've had developed is fantastic. So, yep, once that's bonded in and we're happy with that, we'll then put the lino down through the whole van and start putting all the finishing touches onto the schedule, which are the trims at the back, and we'll put the steps on and it'll just look like a complete camper van ready for the conversion to be done. So yeah, looking good. 
So we can see here that Gareth is working on a similar sort of van layout to the one that we just had a look in, except he's got that lino floor in that we talked about, and also the roof has the canvas fitted. So this is about 95% of the way there. He's just finishing off a few final bits before this goes through to the joinery team who'll start working on the cabinetry and doing all that other special work. So thank you very much. The last van we're gonna have a look at is this Tyree. It's a brand new T6.1. And the Tyree conversion inside looks absolutely fantastic. So it'll give you a bit of a picture of what these things look like when we finished making them. And it's really nice, so let's jump in and have a look. Now, this Tyree has our standard 120 seat in the back. So this is 120 centimeters wide, and you'll see that it's got two seat belts. The other one that we'd had a look at had three seat belts in the back. Now, this one has a much deeper cabinetry. It's 10 centimeters deeper. And that's just the result of having the standard 120 seat bed. Now, because this one is a little bit deeper, it means that you get the Dometic sink. So it's just a larger sink. This is a cold water sink and it's got this nice glass top on it and you get the exact same hob. So this one's got the two burner Dometic hob. This one would come in the three seater or this one. It fits both and it's fantastic. It's the most popular hob that we sell. The Wallace hob slowly gaining traction with loads of people opting for the Wallace Hob nowadays, but it is a little bit more expensive as an add-on, so it really is down to your needs and what you think is gonna best fit your needs. So this one is finished in a beach finish. It's another natural wood color. And we also have this Unica top, which is a nice light gray. And the two work really, really well together. Now in all our conversions, you do have the choice from all of our colors, and you can have any of the finishes on the cabinets, any of the finishes on the worktop. We'll give you some samples if you come in and you can really mix and match and try and make, you know, your perfect camper van design. Another thing to notice, this customer has purchased the brand new Jabba Camper Vans T6.1 midge screen, and it's for the genuine Volkswagen T6.1 windows. Perfect opportunity to talk about the Gerba shop. It's a brand new shop online that we've opened and it's basically just got all of these little things that we manufacture here in Gerba on there. There's three products on there just now. We've got midge screens for the T6, T5 and T6.1. We also have our drip strips, which are a rain gutter that go above the driver and passenger doors just to stop any rain dripping down from the roof onto your step or onto your leg as you're getting out. It basically just channels that rain down and away and out the front of the van. But we do have a lot of really, really exciting products that we are developing just now for the shop. I won't give you too much information on what we're planning to release because we're still manufacturing all these products. But if you keep an eye on the shop or on our YouTube channel or even in the Gerba Camper Vans Facebook group, we will update you as and when we create and release our new products. It's a really, really exciting time for Gerba. If you'd like to check out the Gerba store, you will see all of the products that we list there. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. This has just been a quick tour of everything that we have in the workshop. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the Facebook group, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.